Hello, this is Dr. Irvin Sani with Spine Center of Texas, and I would like to speak with you briefly about surgical wounds. A surgical wound is simply an incision or a cut that's made on your body, and it can be any size, all the way from the two or three millimeter puncture hole from a kyphoplasty, all the way to the multi-centimeter uh, incision from, say, a back surgery, an open back surgery across multiple levels, or even a knee or a hip surgery. Wounds, as many general surgeons have said to me in the past, heal side to side, meaning that regardless of the length of your wound, they're still generally going to heal based on the same principles. The time that you have either sutures or staples, or in some cases dermabond, which is skin glue, on a wound before it heals is variable. On your back, we're generally going to keep the staples or the sutures in your back for about 10 to 14 days prior to removing them. This is also true of an incision on your knee, an incision on your hip, and really for the most part true for even small arthroscopic incisions that just require one or two stitches where a camera was placed into your shoulder or in your knee. Again, 10 to 14 days. Everybody's wound's a little bit different. Some people heal more quickly than others, and that's why there's a window of about 10 to 14 days. If you were to get a laceration, however, on your face or on your hand, then the sutures typically need to come out much more quickly. The skin on your face and on your hand tends to heal much more rapidly, and if you leave sutures or staples, typically sutures in the face and in the hand, not staples, then you do uh, risk having a more, uh, a more prominent scar. And so, unless there's a specific reason, and sometimes there is, uh, we will take those sutures out a little bit more quickly. There are some cases, especially in the foot, where there's, say, an Achilles tendon repair, where in some cases people will leave sutures in for as much as 21 days. And that's because this skin is lying directly over the tendon or some other tissue that's important to protect, and that skin can sometimes take quite a bit longer to heal than the 10 to 14 days seen on the back or the knee or even the shoulder. It's important to keep your wound very clean uh, after your surgery. A lot of times after a back surgery, a knee, a hip, a larger surgery, I'll go ahead and tell the patient to keep the sterile dressing, which typically has a substance on the dressing itself that inhibits the growth of bacteria. In many cases, we'll use something called Xeroform, which has an iodine-based chemical that will prevent bacteria from growing. I will typically have the patient wait approximately four days to take that uh, dressing off and then go ahead and take a shower. It's very important that you don't put any substances on your wound. Some people have some home remedy that they got from a relative, or they have some sort of wound care uh, um, ointment that they may have purchased from online or purchased from a, a pharmacy. It's important not to put anything on your wound. I like it to stay dry and clean. Now, in some cases, we will give you a specific scar cream, but that will either be approved by us or even prescribed by us. Other than that, you really shouldn't be putting anything on your wound until the sutures come out. It's also important that you stay out of the water. It's okay to get the wound wet. Like I said, at four days you can take a shower, but I still don't want you scrubbing the wound because you could open it up. And it's essentially your body has created a glue where your, where your blood has clotted in the crack of that wound or in the crevice of that wound that creates a biological bandage. And if you were to take hot soapy water and scrub it with a brush, you could break down that seal and allow bacteria to enter through the incision into your wound and cause an infection. So generally, we let the water hit above the wound, not directly at the wound, and then we dab the wound dry so that we don't put mechanical pressure on the wound. That's very important. And again, we do not submerge the wound until the wound is completely healed and either the, sa either the staples or the sutures have come out. That means no hot tub, no swimming pool, no lake, and, and basically any situation that would submerge or place the wound underwater is a very bad idea until the wound has completely healed. After the wound is healed and the staples or sutures have come out, it's actually a great idea to massage your wound. You can get uh, scar tissue that can build up around the deep sutures under your skin. You can uh, get scar tissue without deep sutures under your skin. And massaging that wound, especially when it's on the neck or on the face or on the hand or anywhere in your body, will help not only minimize that scar tissue, but can also help break down that scar tissue once it is formed. There's also things you can put on your wound, typically vitamin E or, or a scar cream that we can prescribe from our office that can also minimize the prominence or discoloration of a scar or, or the stiffness of a scar. And uh, these generally aren't necessary, but for someone who has an incision in an area that's cosmetic for them, 
um, or they are, are developing scar tissue, then certainly these different types of treatments can be very effective to increase the pliability of your skin, reduce the uh, scar tissue beneath the incision, and, uh, and basically improve range of motion, function, and get you moving again.